Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, we're looking at the Year 2000 Kaylee Papers. So that's the Multiple Choice Grade 10 Level Contest. And we're up to question 22. Now, nah, just kidding. If you just watched the last video, that was question 22. But as I have remarked a couple times now, uh, there was just a typo. I think it's a little funny. Um, I'm not trying to mock the guy who typed up the contest. I mean, obviously, he probably got an earful about this when it went to print or whatever. No, we're up to question number 23. It just happens to be labeled as 22. So if you actually want question 22, that was the previous video. We're on to question 23, completely different question. But uh, hopefully you guys have downloaded a copy of the contest and had a chance to take a look at it. So question number 23. All right, because the next one's 24. The leftmost digit of an integer of length 2,000 digits. So we got a, an integer of 2,000 digits. I doubt we're going to be able to write them all out. Uh, is 3. In this integer, any two consecutive digits. So uh, what do they mean by that? They mean sort of a pair of digits. Uh, so, you know, in 150, 15 is a pair of digits. 50 is a pair of digits. Okay, so any two consecutive digits must be divisible by 17 or 23. That's an odd set of numbers. Okay. The 2,000th digit could either be A or B. So we have some possibilities here. What is the value of A plus B? All right, so we probably need to figure out A and B together. We need to figure out each of them. Uh, but maybe there's some way to just figure out A plus B without actually figuring out one of A or B. Um, Okay, so we start off with a 3 on the left, so it'll be the first digit, okay? Uh, and then the next one will have to, so it'll be 30-something will be the number we're looking at. It'll have to be a multiple of 17 or 23, uh, so that means it'll have to be 34. And then from there, the 4 in the next digit will have to form something, and we'll keep going. And I guess there'll be a pattern or, or some other way to figure out what A and B are. So they're asking us to do something with 2,000 digits, and we're only given the sort of the starting number, the number on the left. So there's going to have to be a pattern. We need to figure that out in order to eventually figure out A or B, or, or, and, and definitely the value of A plus B. So... Uh, 2,000 digits, we start off with 3, and we just keep going. we got to fill in the rest of this thing. Um, so 3 and the next digit have got to form a, a multiple of 17, or sorry, 17 or 23, but there's only one of those. It's 34. You know what? It's probably a good idea to write out the multiples of 17. So 17, 34... 51, 68, 85, and uh, I think the next one's 102, but that's a three-digit multiple. 23, 46, uh, 69, um, 92, yeah, carry the one, yep. And then the next one would be 115, but that's too far as well. So these are the only multiples we're considering, and that's how we get a four here. Only one of these starts with a 3, so the next one's got to be a 4. And only one of these multiples starts with a 4, so the next digit's a 6. So we're starting to see what our number looks like, and hopefully eventually, I mean, there's only so many numbers we can have, there's going to be a pattern. All right, 4, 6, and then we get, so 68 or 69. So we get an 8 or a 9, either one. Uh, if we choose the 8, there's only one multiple that's in the 80s, so we have 85. And if we choose the 9, we're going to be stuck with 92. 5 goes to 1, and 2 goes to, well, that'll be 23. And then, as I said before, the 3 has exactly one way to do it. 6, and let's keep going. We'll, we'll split again. Uh, 5 and the 1... Uh, it's got to be 17, and then the 7 will be followed by nothing. Oh, 
we get a dead end. Okay. So it looks like we sort of get a pattern that repeats. Now we can't go 3, 4, 6, 8 at the very start because eventually our number will end and we know it has 2,000 digits. So in order to get to... to uh, We need to repeat the three, four, six, nine, two, uh, So we'll continue on this way for a very, very long time, and then uh, we'll hit a 6 towards the end, and we might be able to hit go 8, 5, 1, and then stop, in which case then we could have also gone 9, 2, 3, and then the sum of the possible A or B would be 1 plus 3, which is 4. Or maybe it's 8, 9, 17, 5, and 2, 7, or 7, and 4, 11. Okay, so there's four possibilities. We could have 17, we could have... 7, 4, and 11. I'm going to guess that those are probably possibilities. 17, 4, 7. So right away we can say it's not going to be 3 and it's not going to be 10. So already we're down to only three possibilities. Okay. We just need to figure out what those possibilities are. All right. So, uh, Three, four, six, nine, two is a run of five. So every fifth number is a two. And notice that this sequence here is of length four. So to get any of these at the end, we're going to have to go all the way up to uh, the nearest multiple of five to 2,000, which is... 190 or 1995 so 195th digit 196th 197th 198th 199th and I didn't give myself enough space. So we'll start with 1995, 1996th, 1997th, 1998th, 1999th, and the 2000th digit. So we definitely have a 2 here. Following that 2, we've got to have a 3 then a 4, and then a 6. These are things we already determined. If you have a 2, you got to go 23, and then 34, and then 46. It's 6 where we split. So we could have an 8 or a 9, followed by a 5 or a 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. I think that was B. Yes, it was. It was B. So B is our answer. Okay. But notice that, uh, sort of right here, realizing that we would have to split at the end, and realizing that the only way we can get two different possible numbers here, because this hits a dead end, is if our possible A and B are 8 and 9, 5 and 2, 1 and 3, or 7 and 4. And that limits the options uh, as to which number is possibly correct in, in our list. So 7, 4, or 17. And automatically, then it's a 1 out of 3 guess as opposed to a 1 out of 5 guess. So if you were stuck and you could narrow it down to a 1 out of 3 or a 1 out of 2 guess, I say take it. But only if you're actually stuck. Anyway, in the next video, we will see question number 24. And then uh, question 25 will be all that's left. So join me for more of the 2000 Kaylee paper in the very next video. Thanks for watching.